Hello everyone, I am Rajesh Krishnamurthy, a therapeutic endoscopist at Virginia Mason Medical Center, Seattle. I am here with my fellow Dr. Jack Paul Clare and we thank Endoscopy Journal for this opportunity to produce this video to discuss our recently accepted article titled ERCP with Overtube Assisted Enteroscopy in Patients with Roux-en-Y Gastric Bypass Anatomy, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Jay, could you explain why this idea was conceived? Hello everybody, I'm Jagpal Clare, Therapeutic Endoscopy Fellow at Virginia Mason Medical Center at Seattle. Ruin by gastric bypass is a commonly performed bariatric surgery in the United States, which has translated into increased need for ERCP in these patients. ERCP in patients with Ruin by gastric bypass is challenging for several reasons. Number one, need to traverse the long RU limb and the pancreatobiliary limb to reach the ampulla. Number two, need to negotiate small ball angulations, especially at the jejunojejunal anastomosis. Number three, selective cannulation of the pancreatic or biliary duct with forward viewing scope and limited cannulation devices which are of appropriate length. Unlike other post-surgical anatomies like Whipple surgery and Roux and Y hepatic jejunostomy, where ERCP can be performed using a gastroscope or pediatric colonoscope, overtube assisted enteroscopy is usually needed in Roux and Y gastric bypass patients due to long Roux limb. Overtube assisted enteroscopy uses a balloon or rotating overtube to sequentially reduce and pleat the small ball over an enteroscope to bring the target closer to the endoscopist rather than relying on forward propulsion alone. Currently, there is no consensus on the first-line endoscopic technique for ERCP in ruin y gastric bypass patients. Since overtube intraoscopy-assisted ERCP is the least invasive approach compared with the LAP approach or EDGE and there is wide variability in reported rates of success, we performed a systematic review and meta-analysis to reliably estimate the pool rates of introscopy success, technical success, and adverse events. Thanks, Jay. That clearly explains the need for this study. In summary, the study is a systematic review and meta-analysis of 10 studies that reported the outcomes of overtube introscopy assisted ERCP in Ruan Y gastric bypass patients. A total of 398 procedures were included in the meta-analysis. The pool rate of enteroscopic success was 75.3%. The technical success was 64.8%. The overall adverse event rate was 8%. Limiting to double balloon assisted ERCP, the pool rate of enteroscopic success was 83.5%. The technical success was 72.5%. The overall adverse event rate was 9%. Jay, does our study add to the existing knowledge? The current study is the first systematic review and meta-analysis of overtube introscopy assisted ERCP in patients with Roux and Y gastric bypass to reliably estimate the rates of success and adverse events. To draw a comparison, ASG quality indicators for ERCP recommends more than 90% cannulation rates in patients with native papilla and normal anatomy. While one would expect the cannulation rate to be lower with the altered anatomy, the substantially lower rate of cannulation with overtube introscopy assisted ERCP estimated in the current meta-analysis reflects the technical difficulty of overtube introscopy assisted ERCP in Ruin Y gastric bypass patients. The alternative endoscopic approaches to overtube introscopy assisted ERCP are EDGE and LAP assisted ERCP. While higher rates of technical success have been reported with LAP assisted ERCP, it is more invasive and expensive than overtube introscopy assisted ERCP. Thanks, Jay. This study seems to add good quality evidence to the current literature. For the benefit of the readers to critically appraise the study, I would like to list the strengths and limitations of our study. Starting with the strengths, we studied the outcomes of overtube endoscopy assisted ERCP exclusively in Ruan Y gastric bypass patients who are unique from other surgical altered anatomies due to the long rule. The heterogeneity was zero in the pooled analysis of adverse events. 
The other strengths include comprehensive and systematic literature search of multiple databases, strict well-defined inclusion and exclusion criteria, careful avoidance of redundant studies, and a detailed quality assessment. There were some limitations in our study. All included studies were retrospective studies. The heterogeneity was substantial to considerable in the pooled analysis of entroscopy and technical success. However, the heterogeneity was zero when the analysis was restricted to high quality studies. In current practice, double balloon entroscopy is the most commonly used technique for ERCP in RUNY gastric bypass patients. However, there were only four studies on double balloon ERCP that were included in the meta-analysis. Finally, there is lack of comparative data between overtube entroscopy assisted ERCP and EDGE with only one previously published study. J. Does our study change the existing practice and what should be the next step? Overtube entroscopy assisted ERCP appears to be effective and safe in patients with ruin y gastric bypass. Though lap assisted ERCP and EDGE reduce the technical difficulty of ERCP by enabling use of side viewer scopes and standard cannulation devices, they are relatively more invasive and expensive compared to overtube entroscopy assisted ERCP. We need future prospective trials comparing the effectiveness and safety of alternative novel techniques like EDGE with overtube entroscopy assisted ERCP in patients with RUNY gastric bypass anatomy. Thank you for watching this video.